this is my washing machine. And this is my second washing machine because I'm living large. But let me tell you about the problem I came upon. I was hooking up, wonderfully, the house already had two places to hook up hoses. And this other port that's coming off here from the hot and the cold is going down and feeding the basement sink, which is kind of gross. But this is the original hose. I bought these fancy hoses, so when they burst, they don't flood my basement. But it doesn't matter if anybody floods my basement because there's stuff all over the place and it's already all soaked. Because the basement leaks. So I guess I'll talk about how to fix that later if I figure out how to fix it. But anyway, I hooked up to here and here, and they probably haven't been used in 50 or 60 years. So what was interesting was this one started leaking. I'll show you that a little bit. It just started leaking. Look at that, right out the top. Just drip, 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 like, like it's sad. And it actually is sad that it's leaking because now I have to fix it. But this one is staying open and that's fine. So inside of here, there's a piece of rubber. It's kind of cone shaped that bloop, closes. And I, I think it closes the whole dang thing. But when you open it, that uh, that allows the water to get to here, which is good. But it also allows the water to get up in here in the bonnet, we call it. So up inside of that bonnet, they got a really interesting material. I know this because I just opened it up yesterday. And I had to figure out how to fix it. And so I've got parts to fix it. These old hose bibs are so nice because you can just replace the parts that wear out rather than buying a whole new $10 thing. So I'll show you as I take this sucker apart. First step is to take off the top. Let's see if I can do that. I'm filming with my left hand. Get ready, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I'm going to turn off the water first. Uh, I'll film that. That'll be really fun. See ya. I'm turning off the water. It's off. Then I'm going to go over there and I'm going to open the pipes so they drain. No, really. I'm going to open the pipes so they drain. That's it. Great. Cold water draining out and like the life from the system. And uh, let's see what we get. When we, get, when we open up this sucker, oh, I tightened it on there pretty tight. All this screw is doing is holding the handle onto the keyed shaft that it's supposed to rotate. So this allows you to, I mean, I guess it's probably tapered a little bit. It allows you to get it in quite a bit. Now I opened this up literally last night, but I tightened it back down enough so that the taper grabbed again. So I just probably hit it with a wrench or something. Now gently, cause I don't want to snap the sucker off, but also hard because I don't want it to be stuck on there all day. The thing I ended up doing to get the original one off was, um, see how everything twists? That's kind of probably bad news. Um, there, oh, no one off. Okay, so I'm gonna have to do that again. I'll show you the technique. I actually think it's pretty fun. So here's the object of our attention today. What you've got here is the ability when you turn this handle to make this rubber stopper go in and shut a pipe. And I think that's where the incoming water um, is. Um, now this was all kind of gummy when I took it out and brittle. So I unscrewed that screw and put in a new washer here. I have a ton of these because my dad saved everything and so did my grandpa. So we got a lot of old washer repair parts around here. Hit me up if you need a washer repair part. Um, so that was fine though. It was shutting off fine. Um, the issue was when it was on, it was leaking out of this bonnet right here. So I'll show you that in a little bit, but first I have to get this handle off. You can see the handle is a different material than the shaft. So the technique that I like is I'll, I'll set this inside. I happen to have two tables that were next to each other when I was working earlier, but I'm just gonna set this sucker gently right here. Well, gotta open it up farther than that. The bonnet has to fit in apparently. All right, so I dangle that sucker like that. I'd love to have it a little bit closer, but I can't because of the dang bonnet. I'm gonna do it a little bit closer. Yeah, there we go. So I, I'm not grabbing the bonnet. I'm just supporting this thing on both sides of the vise. Then I screw in as many threads as possible, just hand tight, but I screw in these threads because what I'm planning to do is hit the screw down. Now that screw is gonna transfer my force to the threads and the threads are in the shaft. What I need to do is make this sucker go down, but I'm gonna have it uh, bite as many threads as possible. So I don't want this to be very loose. I want it to be just a little bit loose. I'm gonna take a rock hound hammer because it's the closest thing that I have around and I just tap it and then uh, it moved down a little bit. So that's cool. Then I'm going to loosen up a tiny bit more. No, I'm not even going to risk it. I'm going to see if the whole thing's loose. I bet you the whole thing's loose. But I don't have enough hands to do this. 
That's dumb. All right, let's see. I also put liquid wrench on here to loosen things up in case they've gotten stuck. Yeah, so you see this is just a keyed bit right here, and you've got the same keying inside of that, and this screw is just designed to hold them together. Okay, but the point is, up inside of here is where stuff gets interesting. This came off with quite a bit of struggle yesterday, but uh, as I've just recently cleaned it, it's okay. I put some grease on there, and it's still, as you saw, dripping. So what's in here is really cool. First, there's a washer. There it is, just a normal washer. And then inside here, it seems to be some sort of papery material. It looked like it was like, like uh, oil-soaked paper or something. But it turns out it's probably a graphite material. And I got this bead called graphite bead, and the guy at Home Depot told me not, oh no, it was Lowe's, so I'm not sure I can trust the advice. But he told me not to take out this old material, that I can just lay another couple beads of this sealant on there, but that makes me uncomfortable because I need it to be smashing inside here also. So I also got some waterproof grease. So I'll tell you what, I'm gonna change batteries and I'm gonna um, open this up just a little bit and I'm going to uh, apply some water stop grease that I got and also um, pack in a little bit of that material. I'll show you. Okay, so Taiwan will sell you this self-forming graphite valve packing right here, and it's a 332nd inch rope. Two feet of it, baby. So it is kind of, ooh, it's dusty, and it's kind of squishy, like, oh yeah, yeah, definitely self-packing. My plan here is to kind of wrap it around this, so that then when I put this on nice and tight, it'll smash all into the right places. And then I'll give it all a nice coating of silicone grease, and we'll see what happens. I will film the result, even if it's bad, and then I'll have to fix it again. All right, so here we go. I'm taking the guy's advice partially by leaving some of that stuff in there. So I'm just going to put a few turns around, and I'm going to put them nice and tight around here. And my thought is I tried to get like a cone-shaped vacancy there so that when I take that sucker and slam it in it will press against the shaft of the valve as well. We'll see. Interesting. It pinches off just like a putty. I'm going to leave all that extra and I'm just going to take this and slam it into there. You'll see that the washer helps squeeze everything in there and I'm hoping to get a little bit of it to goo up there. I'll put a couple drops of this silicone grease around there and put it together. Well, I promise, good or bad, uh, I tightened on the top. It looks like I don't have a full rotate. I can't even rotate it 360 degrees. This one next to it rotates. What? Oh. Okay. Well, a little more than 360 degrees. Not that bad. But um, it's like gummy here. Look, it works. That bonnet is packed. Bam. And I operated both the washing machines at the same time. It was super cool watching them dance together. They both entered the spin cycle at the same time. The top one freaked out and waited till the bottom one finished. It was very polite. So uh, that's fun.